I am a visual artist, a graphic designer, and a painter. I've done many, many things around my life. I've been working in painting and cultural promotion in Mexico City. My studio is in San Rafael, which is a very traditional uh, area of the city. And I've been working here for more than 30 years. This house belonged to my grandfather. I started out really, really young, drawing characters from Disney, and I did uh, a lot of things, just like doing Christmas cards or doing drawings for my friends. They say that my work is like a continuum. More than 500 pieces. We're going to update the website soon. <laughs> That's one of the things I have to do. Every time that, that I approach two new projects, I develop a, a whole concept around that series. We did a project for 2015 that was called Fun, Fucking Urban Narcissism. We were partying all, all the time. So much fun just to go and do PR and DJs and partying and I've been in many, many places in the world, including Basel in Switzerland, Germany, in Lisbon, in Portugal, we did Arco in Madrid. I've been doing projects in Miami. We did projects in Montreal, for example, with the consulate in Mexico and Montreal. Cities like Guadalajara or Monterrey, it's full of art. I'm doing like these projects, like the project with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. There's something about my work that doesn't relate to a style. And uh, that's very difficult. Watercolor, color pencil, black and white, geometry. I just like the big scale. And I, I like the accidents that happen. My favorite pencil is HB. Colors are part of Mexico and you can find colors that are everywhere. But Mexico is color, like black and color, I guess. <laughs> Estamos viendo esta serie que se llama Softer Image y son un tratamiento muy suave del color y del acrílico. Esos todos los de blanco y negro en una exposición que se llama Polaris. Entonces, este cuadro se llama Obsesión sobre la naturaleza. Entonces, la verdad es que estaba un poco perdido en mi discurso. No sabía qué, lo que iba a hacer, pero lo único que veía desde la ventana eran plantas. Y este se llama Deep Forest. Es como un camino en el bosque, como si fuera Hansel y Gretel. The Best Pop se llama. Y es como muy, muy grafitero, muy, muy divertido sobre las películas. Popcorn. Sí, esa es una buena pieza. Como muy divertida. En la serie Serpentine. Y hay uno gigante ahorita en la Secretaría de Relaciones. Super Pop. Y esta es de la serie de Manía. Y esa serie es súper intensa.
Entonces esta serie tiene que ver con el espejo. Todo esto se refiere a una etapa de manía sobre las cosas del trastorno bipolar y la manía. While I was studying graphic design, I was very depressed. Um, at some point, I didn't know if that depression was representative of my work or it was a compliment. And the first time I, I talked about my depression, it was very important for me to see what was going on. I decided to go to speak to a priest who was like my mentor. He told me I probably had a depression. And uh, I started talking to doctors and psychologists and I decided to go to see a psychiatrist. And when I, s I met the psychiatrist, I said like, there's no way that this is gonna uh, be part of my life. I, I had a really had a hard time to accept it. I started reading Van Gogh's life. There's a book that's called Anhelo de Vivir, and it's the life of Van Gogh. So it's like, he also was diagnosed with bipolar disorder at some point. And it was until 1996 when I got that uh, diagnosis as well. And I did a project that was important in my life that was self-portraits. the 31st of December of 2020. I had a crisis, a bipolar crisis. I was very depressed and I had um, COVID as well. So it all came together at the same time. Um, I fell down. I broke down my nine fractures. I had seven, seven spinal bones. And uh, my hand is uh, it's really now, right now it's, it's crippled a little bit. It was very, very hard for everybody, my family, my friends, and most of the people thought that I was gonna die. The psychiatrist didn't know what to do. The doctors didn't know what to do. I had to go back to, to my mother's house and uh, she actually saved, saved my life. And people were just like uh, trying to come with me <laughs> and, and give me kisses. <laughs> This would be the place. It's like a refugee in a, in your own house. So my mother was super worried, and she said, "Like, okay, so what do you want? Whatever you want. Those would look good here in a huge space. Like, you no, know? <laughs> do this in a different scale." Mira, esta es la pintura, primera pintura. La primera pintura. ¿Esta dónde fue? Donde sé. 
Monterrey. La primera exposición, la primera pintura fue una de un reno de este lado. <risa> <risa> Te pasabas pintando y era muy divertido. Todas tus aventuras. <risa> de Snoopy. De Snoopy. <risa> Dibujaba Snoopy. I used to draw Snoopy and all the characters, Disney characters. When I had the accident, she was, she was there for me all the time. And this accident uh, changed my life completely. And I learned a lot about physiotherapy, about mental health, about many, many concepts that are very important for society. Since I wake up and how there's a whole process of order and exercise and walk, <laughs> Healing from the psychiatry can complement a holistic approach. The holistic healing and psychiatry is like a team. This kind of energy heals, heals me from the mental part. And you breathe. Never forget to breathe. And uh, meditation is about breathing as well. So the more that you learn how to breathe, it's the best. An artist means much more than only painting. For me, life has changed a lot. Please, everybody smile. <laughs> the more I get closer to the people I love, the better I feel. I really love being close to my friends who now are part of my family. A very important thing in, in a friend is that They tell you exactly what truth is. Éramos vecinos, pero cuando la primera vez que nos vimos fue en Ixtapa. Y yo, y me gustaste. ¿Ah, sí? <laughs> The people who ha have to be with you when you struggle. And I think that uh, that's what I cherish the most.
the money is not so important. But the friends are. most important thing about life is putting it together and uh, keeping it together to bring together wellness, meditation, psychologists, psychiatrists, family, friends. No way. That's my approach to life. My name is Miguel Angel Cordera and this is my story.